good beautiful morning to you YouTube um, second day of not milky kind of a unique uh, a unique uh, bittersweet morning uh, hate to, to not be milking Elsa but we know it's better for her health uh, two days removed from the shot that we had to give her from the vet she is doing wonderful uh, back to her old self just hate that we can't milk her so uh, we're gonna get started with the day we've got to do some bee work get some hay from our hay but also somebody else's and we're going to try to finish up and have a good fun day with the kids all right, we went to the co-ops got all that done we are getting some bee stuff um, we're going to raise like i said rebuild both bee apiaries just get them off the ground as we get close to winter so <clears throat> we're going to take some bee stuff up there i've got a deep a mid a mid and also a super because when we go up to this other apiary where our big beef cows are in our small apiary i want to make sure we have everything we need because well, it's a good 15 20 minutes away from our house so we're gonna go ahead and take those, get that set, and come back here and we will do our B apiary here at the homestead. So um, let's get this stuff loaded. <laughs> All right, so we got those, as you see, right behind Misty. We got those on better blocking, so that way we're ready for prepping for winter, basically. Uh, if you notice all behind it, there's still a lot of blooms all throughout some of the, uh, through, through the pasture right behind them and also in front of them so that's good so hopefully there'll still be some more fall flow breeze still to come the breeze does feel good fall here in mississippi we actually don't get it cooler but we start getting a few little breezes so i'm excited <laughs> about that so no but they're doing really good these four are doing good we're gonna have one that we're gonna probably be able to pull a good fall flow off of the others well since they're all young we'll probably let her bump just for a little bit longer um and plan for spring flow what do you think they look good though Glad to get them off the ground finally. Did we ever check that little one? You glanced in there to make oh, sure I? she was laying. She okay. was laying. All right, so we're going to go back to the house and do the other apiary and get it set. And uh, I'm glad to have the best helper in the world. <laughs> All right, back home. Miss Mac is making the kids some lunch. We're going to try to get these other bees checked, get them moved up. We're just picking up some pine straw to light our smoker. We'll get our smoker lit. Uh, what we're going to do is smoke them, let them know that we're around them, start building the new, um, the new kind of raised platform that their bee boxes will be on. You tend to not want to move bees during this time of day um, because you have a lot out. Now, if we were moving them further off or moving them in a different location, you saw on the farm, you couldn't do that because you'd be losing a lot of your bees that's out scavenging, your scavenger bees and also your honeybees. Um, however, where they're at right here, we're just moving them up. Just about two foot same area same location same house um, difference between each one of them so should be no issue but uh, typically if we were moving them across farm or something you would only do it at night um, seal them up at night move them in or either early 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 in the morning when the sun really hadn't rose real good so just remember that if you are moving your bee house but however we're just taking these and just moving them up and putting them all together All right, so we've got the hives up. You see, they look great. Just neatly done, put like they're supposed to off the ground. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hives here. I had 10, we lost one, and that's what Misty's working on now. Uh, never done this because we never had wax moths, but we had one that had developed wax moths. So what we're doing- top right there. What we're doing, see that? yeah, I see it. The chickens will love it. So, we're making the wax moss chicken food. So, uh, not what we wanted, 
but this was a weak high if you remember me always saying nine and a half and what it was was just because this one never really could just pick up i don't know if the queen just wasn't good enough or just wasn't ever making uh the bees happy or what but it just never it was always weak which weak hives make hive beetles hive beetles make uh wax moths. so we lost that one hive which we kind of knew we were losing anyway but we were trying just to hold out hope so missy's giving the wax moths to the and the hive beetles to the chickens and they are excited we got new bedding in their coop also aiden's got to put it in their run but we got it in their coop got a whole fresh new bedding all in there so it's looking good so we're gonna finish up we finally got all the bees done misty's finishing up on the cleaning stuff i gotta go in and uh take care of something with the kids and i hope to wrap it up today so aiden's gonna come out and finish up putting that in uh putting hay in here we're making great compost huh okay see all that right there we've already taken out the compost you know you know we've already taken out the compost we we took this compost out after they broke it down so now we've got to come in with another thing of hay and then that way we can go ahead and let them compost again see that's what the chickens are eating yeah look at all those wax moths not for long buddy that's right smoke them smoke them that's my favorite thing about chickens i don't even like chickens that much but all of a sudden when they eat everything that uh we hate the most which are insects ain't that right mommy yep they've been in here tailing down all right we're gonna finish up and uh get this done you see we planted some elderberry right by the chicken coop and they're coming back so they're doing really good what do we say mama